Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here. How are you all getting on today? A surprising release from Games Workshop lately was the new Little Skulls box. Now, Skull sets have been around for a while. They're always on, on the internet. You can usually get them in packs off some other companies. Usually resin. I'm not sure if many did them in plastic. But the surprising thing about this box is that it took GW this long to release something like this. Now, the box itself is really good. There's over, was it, 340 skulls in this box. It's a perfect match uh, or a perfect mix of um, alien skulls, monster skulls, human skulls. It's perfect for game, or not for Games Workshop, for <laughs> Age of Sigmar and 40k. Um, I got this for, well, I got this off Element Games. It's available for 20 euro, but I got it off Element Games and I got it for just under 15 euro. So make sure to check the links for Element Games below in the description. So let's open up this box and get a good look and see what's inside. Right, so there's four sprues in the box and as I said earlier, there is 340 skulls in this. This, for such a small box, uh, it's incredible the amount of skulls you get. I know they're very small but um, there is a lot in it. I'll run down very briefly from their website what's in it. I mean, if you can see that here. Just vaguely, you can see the list of all the skulls that uh, we have 82 human skulls with jawbones, 86 human skulls without it, 15 human jawbones, 60 assorted human damaged skulls, 2 giant skulls, 1 morgas skull, 1 beast skull, 4 small horned skulls, 4 medium horned, 3 large horned, 7, seven bird, uh, 2 chaos beasts, 6 plague bear, 6 blood letter, 10 tau. 5 crude, 6 alien, 21 gene sealer, 20 orc skulls without jaws, uh, 5 orc jaw bones, uh, 7 orc skulls with jaws open, 7 orc skulls with jaws. Now I'll put all of them in the list in the description below, but that is incredible. Um, let's have a look at the first sprue here. Now I'm, I'm not too sure which one is which yet, so I'd imagine that this one and this one here are the two, I think there's two giant bones, two giant skulls I think. Um, and this is either the beast skull or the morgast one. Or maybe it's that one because it says they're in two parts. So it's kind of confusing but uh, these are really detailed very well. You, you know it's kind of like a, a standard that you get from GW that all this stuff is detailed like mad. Here you see the bird skulls. I really they're such a nice addition. I think that's a really good addition to bird ones. I really like them. But that big giant skull is gonna be awesome. I can't wait to find a place for that. I would have liked a bit more uh giant skulls because that's like two. I, I like that maybe about five or something. I think that would have been a bit more. A few more like the, the box is great, but maybe a few more of the bigger ones. I got like maybe five giant ones. Uh, maybe another bigger. What's this one? It said a beast skull. Maybe another one. Then would have been pretty cool. But but um, moving on to the next one. Here we have. It's just a sprue of human skulls almost with the corn. Blood letter ones in the middle, which is I, I, to be honest with you, I kind of find it hard to distinguish these corn skulls from normal skulls, uh, normal corn heads. But we have a whole row of uh, skulls here, jaws open, some with jaws missing. Uh, the plague bear skulls are here. This is as close as this camera will zoom in, but hopefully it's not too bad. Um, here we have some jaws. I think that's a, that's a cool little addition, having just some, some bottom jaws left there as well. Uh, another Plague Bear one, and then just three more rows of human skulls and some jaws there as well. Um, this sprue is a bit more uh, diverse. Here you have a... They're not human skulls. Let me have a look at the list here again. Um, I don't think they're Orc or two. They might, maybe they might be Orc. No, they're a bit small for Orc. Um, so they're human enough anyway. They kind of look like they have fangs or something. Um, these must be alien skulls, which is tyranids. You can kind of tell by the shape of the head. Here we have some orc jaws. Uh, this must be some more tyranid, I think. 
Manicured one is was that six? Hmm. Um these here now these ones I think these are cow skulls by the look of them. I wasn't really there wasn't I think there was some more on the other sprues that I thought were them. But I'm pretty sure they're the the tail ones. That's awesome, tail skulls. Um Orc skulls, these are probably one of my favourite from the whole box. Um I know I said I'd like to have a few other big ones, but I just wish I'd love to have like a whole box of Orc skulls. They're big, they're massive, they're pretty cool to look at. Um crew skulls. That's really nice to have, you know. Bit surprising to see Crute there, but uh, it's nice to see the Crute get a little bit of love. And then the final sprout, look at this. Look at this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 rows of human skulls. Uh, the majority of these are all without jaws, almost half, half and half, sorry. Um, these are without ha or without the skulls, or without the jaws, jeez, I'm getting, I've mentioned skulls so many times, I'm getting confused. Um, but like that just explains itself. Look at that. You know that'll put a strain on your eyes if you keep looking at it too much. Um, but four small sprues, but they are absolutely packed with goodness. Can I go further? Just a little bit. Um, but make sure to check the description below because I'll put a link to Element Games and I'll and I'll add in uh, what's in this box specifically. Um, I'm a big fan of this box. I think it's awesome because on the box here you can see um, I thought it was a little bit fine where it's just the whole base is full of skulls um, But after looking at all this the best thing about this is You don't have to save all your bits uh, to build up for something something specific in the future you can literally go crazy you can have a whole base full of skulls just like uh, the base on the or just like the picture here and you're gonna have tons left over like I don't know if I'll ever even use all these definitely in my current bloodbound army these will be going on the bases but some of these are gonna be left for some special bases some hero bases um, that I'm gonna be keeping some of these for but there's absolutely tons here to go around um, I think like this sprue specifically with just all human skulls is really good It lets you go to town on them, it lets you do whatever you want with them You don't have to kind of save your bits for special things and everything But but I love this box, it's definitely worth it Make sure to check it out on Element Games, they're a lot cheaper As, as I said I got these for under 15 euro, uh, it's 20 euro normally so definitely check that out in the link below. I'm a big fan of this box. I highly recommend uh, investing in it. I I don't know if I'll ever. I was going to say I might get another box. But I don't really need that I don't think. But anyway if you guys like this. If you thought this review was helpful. Make sure to let me know in the comment section below. If you've got this box. Also let me know what you think about it. Um, make sure to like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for watching. I will see you guys next video.